Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jeremy and Gavin. Oh, we going? Yeah, we're back for Intel of, uh, Mission 3 Glast, which uh, we just played. He's, a, he's such a funny looking Yeah, AI. that's why I left that shot in, because he looks so dumb. Uh, the first you can Intel, tell like an AI DLC pack came out, and they just dressed him up with all the goofiest <laughs> shit they could find. <laughs> Let's put, yeah, as many accessories as we can on here. Dress him up all nice. Uh, take a right at the first metal door after you get off the elevator, and the data oh. pad is just kind of showing on a box. I show you the lock uh, ping. That thing, so it's glowing blue right now when you hit down. It's super easy because the the controller vibrates and it makes a noise. So oh, it vibrates when it finds Intel. Yeah. That's so cool. if you feel the vibration and you can actually track where the noise is coming. Have you noticed from. also when you reload, the left trigger vibrates when it's done reloading? I did not notice that. It's that pretty actually? cool. It's a cool feature. That's awesome. Uh, all right. So this Intel, it's to the left, right when you get into the first outside area. I didn't really know what I was scanning. Like, I didn't realize it was that rock on top of... Like, I'm looking around for what I just... was in a rock. Yeah, it's this thing. Oh, so oh it's, it's like a little box. Yeah, it says scan radio. It's just literally like a colored box sticking out of a piece of rock. <laughs> I didn't really know what it was. I just saw find intel. They so stick I a lot of stuff, it. like, halfway out of rocks in this game. Yeah, the skulls in particular yeah. were like... You can see the top of them sometimes. Uh, the third intel is in the same area, just on the other side. It's on that chair... In the room right there, so you just walk inside and uh, grab it off of the left arm of the chair. And scan it. Yeah. Boop. There's only six in this one. It's a really short mission. Precarious place to leave what looks like quite a fragile object. <laughs> this, uh, it is. It's probably made out of glass, right? Yeah. Just read across it. Intel 4 is right after that fight. You'll probably be on a uh, mongoose or a warthog right here. But as you pass by this crashed cargo ship, crashed. Crashed. crashed Cargo ship, Jesus Christ! You nailed it. There's uh, another one of those radio rocks on the ground. <laughs> See, I, I, I highlight it right there. <laughs> I had no idea what it looked like. Radio rocks. It's what it is. It's just something embedded in a rock, and then you pick it up. I mean, later on, you can scan like swords. That's like the Intel item. Do you think Microsoft will start releasing radio rocks? Is like I like would kids buy toys one. I would purchase radio. a radio rock just to have <laughs> on my desk. Uh, to the left of the bridge that you have to go across, right before you get on it, it's just uh, chilling on the table. Oh, next blueprints! To some blueprints. What are uh, they blueprints for? Did you read them? Uh, no, I wasn't allowed to. I didn't have the uh, clearance. To read. Oh, okay. oh, there it is. For Radi someone else's eyes only. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. Radio rock. <laughs> Garage fourteen is where you'll find the last one. This is where you get the scorpion. Do you know you can bust into that room through the ceiling? Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. You don't have to wait for it to open. And uh, the data pad is just in the back, so those ones aren't too bad. They are if you don't know you're looking for the fucking radio rocks <laughs> but uh yeah those ones are pretty easy so that is the six on mission three and we'll be back for the next eight in mission four see you in a bit